How to use an elliptical machine. An elliptical trainer or cross trainer X trainer is a stationary exercise machine which you can use for stair climbing, walking, running, or sprinting exercises. It can be a great, low impact cardio that burns calories. Like any exercise machine, proper use is essential to getting the most effective workout and avoiding injury. Using the elliptical. Step onto the machine facing the monitor. Be careful stepping onto the machine. The pedals may start to move as you do and it can be easy to lose your balance. Grab the handlebars as you step on to help you stay balanced. Begin pedaling to turn it on. Taking a few steps forward on the machine should power up the display. If not, look for a start button. Start pedaling at an even pace. Your arms should be swinging with the handles. When your left foot goes down, straightening your leg, the right handle should be pulled toward your body. Same for when your right leg goes down. Do not lock your knees. Keep the knees slightly bent when straightening the leg on each stroke. Notice that it is similar to riding a bike without ever sitting down, but with less of an up and down range of motion. Turn up the resistance. Faster is not always better on the elliptical machine. Turning up the resistance will make it so that you have to push harder on the pedals which will give your muscles a better workout. Change up your direction on the pedals. The pedals on an elliptical machine can also go backwards. Going backwards not only adds variety to your workout, but it also works muscles that going forward tends not to. Moving backwards on the machine works your hamstrings and glutes. Pedaling backwards can be hard on your knees. Be careful if you have a knee injury. Pedaling backwards can be hard on your knees. Be careful if you have a knee injury. Use the swing arms. Some machines have movable swing arms and others have fixed. The movable swing arms will give you a more full body workout, but will take some of the emphasis off of your legs and butt. You can choose not to use the swing arms for a more intense lower body workout. This will involve more balance and awareness of your posture. Increase the incline and resistance as you go. Do 5 minute intervals increasing the resistance and incline each time. Start with a base pace that feels comfortable but challenging. Do this for 2 minutes keeping the incline the same. Then increase your speed for 2 more minutes. Let yourself recover at a slower pace for one minute. Then increase the incline or resistance and repeat the pattern. Depending on your fitness goals you may want to tweak this workout routine.